Oh, he gave up. Touch him, Mama, touch him. We're gentle with our pets. We're gentle with our pets. We're gentle, we're gentle with our pets. Good job. You guys, we're having the worst morning ever right now. First of all, Emma was crying this morning, kind of complaining that something was hurting her. So I didn't take her to school because she's been having like headaches lately. I just gave her some ibuprofen um, to see if it helps. And our puppy has been having diarrhea and has been vomiting throughout the night. And now he's looking like very lethargic. I'm feeling so emotional right now. So I've called the vet to see um, if they can get him in today. And they said most likely it's parvo. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with the puppy. Um, I have a doctor's appointment at 1140 today. So we're going to take him in. They're going to do like a little parvo test to see what's going on with him. But he is like really, really like he's not even moving around anymore. He's just vomiting. And so I feel so bad for him. He's He looks like he's suffering. So we're going to take him in see what happens sorry guys i'm just feeling very emotional right now with everything that's going on i just feel bad for the little doggy so i'm gonna get ready for the day and try to give him more water because i was reading up on it and see what it is and we you need to keep him hydrated yesterday he was playing with emma like so cute but then you could tell that he was like tired so he kept on like stopping and right now he's just laying down. He doesn't want to get up and play or anything. And I don't know. I just feel bad for him. All right, guys. Many hours later, I am having like the worst hectic day that I I wish that I kind of had some help today because Emma didn't go to school today. She's been complaining and whining that something hurts. I don't know what hurts. So I gave her ibuprofen she seems to be better now um our little puppy is just not feeling well like i had said the doctor's the vet appointment has been moved to 320 which it might be a little bit better for me because i honestly don't want to take emma to the vet with me because they don't want the puppy to go inside the vet they want him to be outside and uh, do the test outside and then see if we have to take him into the emergency room and then to top it off, my doctor's appointment, I have a doctor's appointment today at 1140 for myself. And then I just looked at my scheduling book and I forgot that I had a doctor's appointment for Emma for the Mind Institute um, with UC Davis today. Luckily, that one's over the phone is for her um, checkup with um, the people that diagnosed her was UC Davis Mind Institute. Um, and they do regular follow-ups every six months and um, once in the middle of the year and then another one at the end of the year. Um, and yeah, we're like trying to plan like generic te genetic testing and all of that with her. Um, and just a lot of other questions that we have for the Mind Institute. So. I have a extremely hectic day and I'm feeling very anxious and of course my anxiety levels are insane and my regular doctor's appointment today is for some personal things that have been going on with my body lately that I just kind of want to get checked. I'll probably talk about it later on in a different video. I just feel a little down about the whole puppy situation right now and how the poor puppy is feeling so I kind of don't want to talk about all the other stuff that's going on but yeah it's definitely been such a hectic day that I, that's why I haven't been fully vlogging right now just because I've been very emotional I've been doing lots of phone calls and um I don't know I've just been cleaning and getting ready for the day but we're going to take off to my doctor's appointment and I'll see you guys in a little bit little cutie Emma keeps wearing her sunglasses everywhere we go it's adorable we're on our way to mommy's doctor's appointment. Say hi. Hi. Love you.
Oh. Okay, let's go to the doctor's appointment. First appointment of the day, and I had to bring the little munchkin for me. We're just waiting in the room for a while. Feel bad that I had to leave the puppy for a little bit. Tested right now, so we're just waiting to see what they have to tell us. All right, guys, so he 100% does have parvo. Um, they tested him, he does have it. <sighs> so, um, they given us like an at home treatment to do stuff at home. They did want us to, like, if we wanted to hospitalize it. And they can do the treatment there, but we decided to go for the treatment at home. And we're gonna, they gave him an IV there and some vitamins and a bunch of shots that they gave him there. So, um, they also gave us the IV fluid to bring home, and we're supposed to give it to him every single day, stick a needle on his little body and give him fluids, and then also um, a medicine that we have to give him every single day liquid kind and also the little capsules so we're supposed to be keeping a good eye on him for a good week to two weeks to make sure that his poop is more solid that he's not throwing up any blood or pooping any blood so far he's just been throwing up and um, puking but he has no blood in his stool so they said that that was a good sign um they also did say that the fact that he's a little bit more conscience like more active he's still kind of like getting up and looking at people and kind of drinking water and all of that that that's like a good thing um so i'm hoping that with this like at home treatment we're able to to really help him and that he gets cured say a little prayer please for our little bingo and that nothing happens to him and that he gets better with all of this medicine that we're going to be giving him they also said to Give him electrolytes, I think it's what it called. It's what it's called to mix it into his water, get him a lot of fluids, and then to uh, try to do the ground turkey and rice diet with him to see if it helps his stomach. Um, but right now he's resting. He's had like a little tough moment right now at the vet because we had to get all those shots and all the fluid and all of that. So I just feel so horrible for him so so sad for this little pup it's like the one time that we get a little puppy and he's so sick and i just feel so bad for him like so so bad like seeing his little body and just how he's like suffering it's the worst thing ever but that's what's been going on with us this past couple of days that we've been having to try to figure all of this out Also, another thing that happened is that Adrian ended up getting COVID. He was staying at his dad's house. He had COVID and he didn't go to school the past week. So now he's feeling a hundred times better. And we COVID tested. We were all negative at the home and he is actually negative now. So he tested negative. He's starting back to school again tomorrow and then he'll be here tomorrow because i have him the rest of the week until next monday so he will be here with us and hopefully he gets to meet bingo he was so sad when i told him that the puppy had parvo he hasn't even like got to meet him or see him and he was so excited that we've got a puppy and when i told him that he was so so upset so i'm just praying that he gets better and then he pulls through and then we get to keep him forever endeavor.
Look at this little rock star. She keeps wearing her sunglasses and she loves them so, so much. So cute. So cute. Alright guys, as you guys can tell, it is the next day and I'm just finishing up doing some laundry. Bingo is actually laying down today this morning. He woke up a little bit better. He was actually um, trying to play with me, following me in the kitchen, following me around and all of that. But they did say that um, if they're walking around a lot to definitely keep them even more hydrated because they definitely need it. He hasn't been eating. I'm trying to see if I can like try to feed him more, but I, he hasn't been eating, but he did do a little bit better this morning with like trying to walk around and uh, be more aware. And he seemed a little bit better walking than he was yesterday. So I'm just going to keep giving him the medicine and pray, hope for the best, but I just wanted to end this vlog. I know it's not something super upbeat and it's something really sad that's been going on, on with our family, especially since we were so excited. You guys saw the last video. And just keep little bingo in your prayers and hope that everything um, goes good with him. Sorry, I have like a little rash going on. I just dropped off Emma at school and I'm gonna pick up Adrian today. So we're gonna have him here at the house today and I'll keep you guys up to date on the next vlog and see how um, Bingo is doing. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed rest of your day. We'll talk to you guys on our next vlog. I just wanted Bye. to come on here at the end of the video and acknowledge the tragedy that happened yesterday. I honestly am sobbing every time that I tried to do a video about it and talk to you guys. So I just decided to do a voiceover instead and just pray for the family, pray for their healing pray for peace that surpasses all understanding for them. I, I know it must be the hardest thing to lose a child, especially this way, just taking them to school and knowing that they're not coming back. Um, just please pray for them. Keep them in your prayers. This is exactly why I can't come on because I just cannot stop crying for over these poor little babies and even the staff that passed away yesterday. So please keep their family in prayer.